Ah, a chance to do a little FaceTiming with uh, Adam Wainwright. So how has the offseason been going, Adam? Hi, Kat. How are you? I'm doing great. How's the yeah, offseason hey. treating you? Offseason is doing good and uh, just enjoying this beautiful South Georgia weather. I'm, I'm sure y'all are having a warmer winter up there as well, but it's uh, – it's probably 78, 79 degrees right now where I am in South Georgia. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Show us uh, the digs. Show us around a little bit. What's your view like? I'm on the back porch right now, and I'm uh, just taking a break to talk to you all from sighting in my bow. And here's my backyard. This is, looks out over the, the lake. We got a, This neighborhood has a, a massive lake in it, so we, we're fortunate enough to uh, – to have some some uh, some good lake property here with some monster big old bass in it, and um, yeah, man, I'm a South Georgia boy. I like being outside. I mean, a lot of these Midwesterners are the same way. So uh, my daughters say we're outside people. That's that's kind of how we we try to stay outside as much as possible. Well, it's a uh, it's a very nice spread you got there. Let, let's talk about uh, the off season for the Cardinals. Uh, you know, it's a business, so guys come, guys go. You know, Cruz is gone. John Jay is gone. Kind of guys you grew up with. Yeah, man. These are these are guys that are on our World Series team from '11, and uh, guys that have been you know part of the fabric of us having our winning in our, our winning atmosphere the last few years. And they're winners. They're they're winning ball players, and they're going to help their teams uh, respectively. But you know, it is a business, and so it's the hardest part of our game is the coming and going of friends and teammates. And it's just something, unfortunately, we've gotten used to. You guys also uh, lost Hayward and John Lackey. Unfortunately, they they went to the Cubs. Um, obviously, you guys have a lot of talent back. Um, but everyone's talking about the Cubs. And I know when you ask Adam Wainwright uh, about what you expect from uh, your ball club this year, what are you thinking? Well, I mean, what's the difference? Everyone's already talking about the Cubs before they were any good, right? I mean... The world wants the Chicago Cubs to be relevant, wants them to be good, and my goodness, Sports Illustrated and all these these entities, they want the Cubs to win so bad, it's ridiculous, and everybody's disappointed that the Back to the Future uh, uh, proclamation, was, yeah. proclamation didn't happen, and um, I mean, the world wants the Cubs to win, and, and uh the world minus St. Louis Cardinals country, and, and we're going to do our best to make sure that doesn't happen. But, yeah, they got some good players over there. There's nothing going to be different about that. Jason's going to go in there and be a great player and solid teammate like he was for us. And, and John Lackey's a star, a, a, a star pitcher, a solid pitcher, a guy that takes the ball every fifth day. He's going to do well over there, and he's with his, his best friend, John Lester, over there. They're going to love that. So, I mean, they're going to be tough, no doubt. But, uh, I mean, that's kind of where we – you know, minus 2009 and minus uh, 2014. And last year, I don't think I've ever been on a Cardinals team where people expected us to win. Nobody nobody ever gives us, you know, kind of the credit we think we deserve, and that's fine. That's uh, that's exactly where we need to be, exactly where we like playing from. We'll be the underdogs this year. And, we'll, you know, last year we won 100 games. And, uh, and you know, we were probably not the favorites in the first round. And, and uh everybody's talking about how much better the Cubs are going to be. Well, the Cubs won like 98 games. I mean, how much better can you really get in baseball than 98, 100, 100 wins? And it's just not not any precedent saying that they're going to go out there and win 120 games next year. So they'll be tough and will be tough, and it'll be a good match. Are you, are you uh, happy with, uh, the, with the returning talent? I know you're, you're always optimistic about uh, something paused on this. Hold on, Wayne. There we go. We'll edit that out. Um, are you happy with the with the current makeup of the Cardinals team? A lot of Cardinals fans were hoping uh, the organization would make a splash with a big signing, and and they were in. They were in deep water with uh, with Price and, and Hayward didn't work out. But what's your thoughts on uh, the team you have coming back? Well, we have a great nucleus as we as we have the last few years, and our young players are still um, growing and they're maturing and they're going to be better for the experience they've had. Um, but the offseason is not over. I mean, there's really not much more you can do than what our ownership and front office has tried to do with those two big name free agents. I mean, we have offered them uh, a ton of money, and I think we've been uh, second to both both of those guys on, with big offers. So um, with offers that really, you know, I mean, 
probably should have and could have signed him very easily. I think we even offered more than the Cubs offered for Jason Hayward. So uh, we're doing our, our best. Our front office is doing a great job, and we trust them to, to put the best product out there on the field that they can get. But um, the offseason is not over. There's still a couple of really good, uh, smart signs out there that, that I know our front office is looking at. But if not, I mean, we're still going to be very, very dangerous. If you take away Jason Hayward and you take away John Lackey, um, that to me gives more time for Piscotty, more time for Gritchick, more uh, experience needed for Waka and Martinez. Um, these guys are going to be expected to take the ball every fifth day for the first time, you know, and and uh, I think that will make them better. And I think when 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 good, really quality, uh, big league baseball players are given that opportunity with the expectations are placed on them, the weight of the world's on their shoulders, a lot of the time it makes them dig deep and grind out at bats more than they ever have, grind out innings more than they ever have. So I look forward to seeing our young guys come through in those situations. One of the things that uh, the upcoming version of the Cardinals will have that they didn't have last year was Adam Wainwright for a full season. I know that was an awful thing to go through, tearing the Achilles, and you worked hard to make it back, which, which you did. Is there a benefit of not having those innings on the on the meter, so to speak, for you? Yeah, there is. There, I mean, you know, that's the way I have to look at it as well. But there, there is definitely uh, some advantage for for not pitching 230 innings, 260 innings like I have in, in the last few years. It just takes a toll on your arm. And and uh, I had that little elbow procedure last year, a little cleanup area on the back side of my elbow, and. I was pitching in spring training and 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 uh, I was pitching in the early parts of the season, and I was just going to have to kind of gut my way through last season all the way probably till about halfway until it it kind of clicked into place. But um, having that time away, my arm came back so fresh. I'm able to do stuff in the weight room now, strength wise that that I couldn't do the last two years because of that backside elbow issue, and um, those things have gone away. So I really am looking forward to it. Uh, Blessing in disguise, I think. You know, you don't want to tear your Achilles to have something like that happen, but the time off certainly did my arm some good. And in terms of the rotation, you know, you've been the ace, but now you have a bunch of younger guys without the veteran presence. You don't have Lance Lynn, who's out for the season uh, after Tommy John surgery. Do you look forward to that challenge of being a, a leader of a really young group this year? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's any different. I mean, I, I still tried to be that guy even when I wasn't, you know, traveling with a team or on the road. I mean, I, those guys know that they can come to me at any time. Um, what I do love and I just cherish is is the opportunity to go out there and lead by example. And uh, when they see a 34-year-old guy going out this year, going to pitch every fifth day, you know, throwing 230, 240 innings, regular season stuff, you know, that drives them to step their game up. And uh, I constantly throw out jabs to these younger fellows like, hey, you're going to let an old 34-year-old guy show you up doing this or that. And in the weight room, you know, I'll send out – last year I was sending out Lance Lynn and Michael Waka texts all the time from the weight room like, hey, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm doing this. You know, let's see what you got. And so I push these guys as much as I can uh, that makes sense. And um, these guys do a great job responding, and, and they'll, their time is coming. You know, th their time to do that to the younger guys is coming, and hopefully we'll see that real soon. How about uh, baseball activities? Have you started that? Uh, what's your off-season routine like? I start throwing in uh, January, but I haven't started doing that yet. So I I'm working out. I'm, I'm running and lifting. Uh, I'm, you know, getting my mind right. But right now, the best part of, of – of the off season is the off season, right? Like I'm, I'm not throwing, I'm, I'm not pitching. I'm not, uh, you know, hitting in the batting cage. This is a time of rest, a time to get stronger. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to be a good dad. My wife is actually, uh, any day now pregnant with our fourth child. And so, uh, I'm on call right now. I'm in the backyard shooting a bow, but, um, you know, at any moment I could be summoned to the doctor's office. Well, we'll get off the line and, uh, let you continue the watch. Good luck with that, and uh, we, hope, uh, we hope everything's great for you guys. All right. Thanks, Jim.